Check it out. We have to go from the left here, go from the left. We're back. <laughs> we haven't even started yet. <laughs> Is this nerves? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah? You're nervous? Yeah. He's awkward in general though. Yeah, I am. <laughs> no, he's just, he doesn't mean to be awkward, but he's just awkward. Alright, okay, should we get started? Yeah, go on. Alright. Hiya guys, welcome back to Clearview Driving. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Ammon and I'm a driving instructor. And today, we have... Juvenile, back for another mock test. Hello. This is number three from our mock test, right? Is that third lesson together? Third. Or third, like, driving session? One that second. Is, yeah, One is, second. Is, is, is. Third. It's your third mock test, right? I don't know. I think so. Yes, that is. it's third. a third mock test. If you haven't seen the other videos, I'll link it up here. And we are joined by, yes. joined by, joined with Jeremy. His driving instructor. The driving instructor. Yeah. <laughs> One and only self-proclaimed <laughs> driving instructor. Self we have to put that in. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, but, when was the last time? Sorry. That's go ahead. Right. Now, I was going to say, by the way, the last mock test he's done, yeah, you've had to stop it. The blah, blah, yeah. blah. So, hopefully, today we're able to get through the whole thing, yes? That's uh, the main aim. Yeah. so too. Okay, so the last time we um, did a mock test, that was over nine months ago. That's crazy. That's that was a long time ago. Nine months? Yeah. So, how many hours of practice have you had since then, roughly? I don't know. Like 10 hours, yeah. 20 hours? Mm. So between He's like 10. A, like 100 hours by now. <laughs> You've had a lot of lessons, man. Nah, not 100 But we took hours. a break though, we took a break. Okay. Yeah, that, that, we've, got, we've got to get that. Like We took a break and now we're getting back into like the driving again. You know, it was getting a bit too much for him. So. And congratulations on your theory test, you passed that. Yeah. So that's really good. <laughs> yeah. It kind of gives you a, a bit of a target. <laughs> Finally. Ninth time. That's yeah. okay, you know what, it doesn't matter as long as you've got it. Yeah. Especially now that you fully understand the questions in and out, you've done them so many times. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's all right. Okay, um, I'm ready to get started. Do you want me to tell you how today will go or are you happy to just get started? Um, I think I need some guidance. Okay. <laughs> so this will be a mock test where I'm just going to be giving you instructions throughout. So I'm going to okay. tell you when to turn. I'm observing everything that you're doing. If I'm not saying anything, you're simply just going straight. Okay. Okay. All the right. criteria for you is just to demonstrate that you can do everything safely. That's okay. it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So for anyone that's new to watching these videos, don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'm going to link Jeremy's YouTube channel so you can go and follow him. You've probably already seen his page anyways because it's mega viral because of this yeah. guy here. <laughs> yeah, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before we get started with today's test, I am going to ask you a question about your vehicle. Okay. All right. Can you tell me how would you check that the brake lights are working before starting your journey? <laughs> um... Just think about it, how would you check the brake lights on your car? Just press the brake. Okay, and then? And then, uh... Use a common sense, man. Just pressing the brake. And then, how would you, as the driver, see the brake lights? I don't know. Say the dumbest thing that you're thinking of right now. I, I, I was literally going to say, go outside and check. Okay, well, if you're pressing the brake, how are you going to yeah. go outside and check? But I'll get someone else to. Thank you. Oh, right. So, the, you know what oh, the funny right. thing is? With this question, everyone always thinks the answer is going to be really complicated. But the simplest answer, that's the one to go with. Oh, okay. Yeah, just ask someone. All or right. use reflections. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Okay. All right, All um, right. Driven, I want to get started. Alright. Good luck. Oh, yep, yeah. I need it. <laughs> You could drive, man. Just, just do what you usually do. Do what you're good at. That's driving. This ain't one of the things I'm good at. <laughs> cool. Okay, so when you're ready, let's start the engine. And what I tell you, remember yesterday about your neck, about what you gotta do. Oh yeah, I gotta check. Yeah. Gotta make it obvious that I'm looking at the mirrors. Okay, so whenever you're ready, we're gonna move off, and at the end of this road, turn right, please. Right, yeah. Okay. Oh, 
Wait, what? It's not the one. Where's the indicator then? Alright. Oh, Bro, I'm actually so stupid. Just remember the electronic handbrake, okay? Handbrake? Yeah. There's a handbrake. Well, you know where the handbrake is when you call it. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. I mean, I forgot about this, can't I? Am I doing something wrong with it? Bro, what am I doing? Oh man, I've got to wait for this stupid van to come Don't rage. Mate, I don't know, I don't know what, oh mate, I'm, I'm too scared. At the end of this road, turn right, please. He was being a bit bushy, wasn't he? Yeah. Come on, man. Shut up. That was so unnecessary. <laughs> that was so good. And a VW up as well. <laughs> good. How silly of them. Okay, at the roundabout, I'd like you to turn left, please. Alright, the traffic lights, I'd like you to turn left, please. Approaching these traffic lights, Juvenile did put the clutch down first and then started braking, which results in the car coasting, so you're disconnecting the engine from the tyres at high speed, which does make it harder to slow down the car. When you use the brake by itself without the clutch, the car slows down much quicker because you have the engine brake and the foot brake together. Whereas with this technique, you've only got the foot brake, which is why he had to brake quite firmly by the end in order to stop. Okay, 
Okay, now this roundabout, we're going to be going straight ahead. It's the second exit towards Kingston, okay? Now, when it's safe to do so, I'd like you to demonstrate how you would open a window. A window? Yeah. It's not safe at all. Uh, 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 open a window. Well, the only way I could do it is like that. Okay, <laughs> so what is safe? Open a window. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah. Fine, you can close it. I did not like that. Tell him you're scared to open the window. Yeah, because, I mean, it was really safe, but still, man, nah. I can't, I can't. I can't. Oh, God. Alright, at the next roundabout, I'd like you to turn right. It's the third exit. So we're turning right third exit, okay? We've been driving at 50 miles per hour for quite some time. Always watch your speed when slowing down from high speed so that you know you're actually slow, as you may feel like you've slowed down enough, but you may be too fast. That's exactly what happened here to Juvenile. He did not slow down enough, and before you know it, we were at the roundabout. Keep to the right lane, keep to the right lane. Yep. Okay. And then we're leaving in this one, yeah? Shit. And then we're turning left at this roundabout. Take the next road on your right, please. If you could pull in and park up on the left hand side, just on the road, not on the pavement. Don't worry about the driveways on this occasion. Keep it wider. Drive up when you're ready.
Here, juvenile decides to wait for the oncoming vehicle. Remember to check over towards the road again when you decide to move off. So he needed to check his right hand mirror and his right blind spot again before moving off from this position. to dwell on the mistake okay just focus on what we've got right here so at the end of this road we're going to turn right Ahead of us we've got a bollard in the middle of the road with a keep left arrow. So essentially the road is dividing into two halves and ahead of us is a no entry. You need to make sure you pass this arrow to the left. Juvenile tries to pass on the right. We have to go from the left here, go from the left. I'll go first, I? No, 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 just, just put it in first gear and just turn it all the way left. Turn the whole thing, just keep the clutch low. Okay, at the roundabout, we're going to turn right. On this roundabout, Juvenile gets a serious fault for his control steering as he's trying to go around the roundabout completely, but there's not enough space. We needed to take the turn slightly earlier, even if that means going slightly over the edges of the roundabout with the right-hand side tyres. Okay, juvenile. Should we stop over? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yes. So, when we go further down this road, if you can park up just on the left hand side, a bit further past the bus stop, okay? Yeah. Secure the car. Do you want to check if the car's alright? No, no, oh. the car's okay. Are you sure? Yeah, the car's okay. Are you alright, bro? No, I'm not. Just switch off the engine. You know that it's. Alright, have a breather. You have a take a take a deep breath in. That was not good. Oh, that was not good. That was not good. Oh. What the both? That big roundabout that now. That really threw you off. That, oh. but, but let's be honest, that's your own fault. Yeah. Why would you stop in the middle of the road at the roundabout? You know where to stop every time at the roundabout. Yeah. That, uh, this roundabout here at the back, you were simply trying to go around it, right? Yeah. But there wasn't enough space. So what should we do on that occasion? Mm. Turn earlier. Yeah. Go over the roundabout a little bit. You have to, because you, otherwise you're going to hit the curb. With the front left tyre, honestly, you've just scuffed the alloy. At, like, it's a little bit. It's mm -hmm. not the end of the world, honestly. It mm. happens all the time. It's a Lerla car. Yeah? I'm not worried about that one bit, so don't worry. And in terms of what happened earlier, yeah, yeah, that, that wasn't very nice. You, you kind of everything happened together. Yeah, you just got bad. there a bit too quick, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. You've done so much better than your last mock test. I think the, so too. The drive was so good. That's just, the only bit where you had your serious fault come in. You know that, right? Which one? The back, the, the back, big roundabout. Back, big roundabout, yeah. So right, up until now, we've got three faults come in major. Okay? One, let, let's talk about it. Okay, okay, okay. One, 
is that big roundabout yeah. obviously yeah. you just got there way too fast yeah. you're in the roundabout and you're still in fourth gear yeah that's why everything just you it just happened yeah. after that you know that bit where you were about to go on the wrong side of the road where i said no no turn in this bit and you said i need to reverse because oh, okay. obviously you're about to now start yeah. driving on the wrong side of the road yeah. just in front of you there was a blue arrow saying keep left you're supposed to see that and go left from yeah. there yeah and then the third one was this roundabout yeah so if you think about it, that whole 10 minute drive that you did before, you drove all, is that called the Crooked Billet? Crooked Billet, yeah. You did really well on that one. The approach to stopping. When you've got a point that you have to stop by, you're fine. Even though the brake's a bit harsh sometimes, you're fine. But on that roundabout, you, you were a bit unsure whether you wanted to slow and stop, whether you wanted to go. You saw the roundabout was clear. Yeah. You just got there. And then before you know it, the car's arrived. You need to make sure when you're approaching a roundabout, you want to kind of give yourself more time. So it's a good idea to watch your speed and go, actually, is that number actually like low? Because when you got there, you were still like 30 something. Yeah, yeah. So next time when you're slowing down, brake more and look at your speed to make sure it's actually slow. Yeah. And give yourself like a buffer speed for, for roundabouts, like big roundabouts, I'd say less than 20. Yeah. Yeah. And then that way you can kind of make a decision, look and so on. Yeah, you okay? I think the roundabout was through him off. I yeah. Ever since then, he ain't been the same. No, he, he wasn't the same after that one yeah. roundabout. He he was he just tunnel vision. Yeah. He did. But yeah. you can't do that. Yeah. That one mistake's gone. But you, you, if you dwell on that, look how many more you've made. Yeah. He was driving nicely. You were driving time. really nicely. I was yeah. surprised because you said you've only, had, only done like 10 hours since the last time we drove together. Yeah. Okay. Just work on your junction approach, yeah. like how you get to these roundabouts. Say roundabouts is probably my major problem. You know right where now. to stop, uh, but just before you. Leave That's it. if you need to stop. Those, yeah. So yeah. kind of get there at a reasonable speed to be able to make that decision yeah. to go or to stop. If you get there too fast, you're more likely to either go into it too fast, or you're more likely to have a really harsh break to that stop. Yeah. And you don't want to do either of the yeah. two. Okay, you feeling better now? Yeah. Okay, so should we go back into mock test style or driving lesson? Which is our mock test. Okay, so we're going to continue with the mock test from here now, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to do the same route that I already had in my head. Okay, at the roundabout, we're going to turn left, first exit. Roundabout here, we're gonna go straight on, it's the second exit. Roundabout turn left. If you could pull in and park up on the left anywhere along here, please. On the road, not on the pavement. Thank you. Drive off when you're ready.
check it out. Yeah? Check it out. Yeah? Move to the right, go and turn the wheel. I've got the pedals, okay? Keep turning the wheel fully for me. Thank you. Keep it there. Now don't dwell on that mistake. Coming up to this next part car, Juvenile does stop at a good distance, but when moving off from this position, he doesn't steer very much and ends up getting marked down for clearance. When moving off from this position, be sure to steer well around the vehicle, especially when the opposite side of the road is clear. Aim to leave at least a metre of space. Okay, now at the end of this road, turn left, please. The traffic lights started changing on the pedestrian crossing ahead, but at the point that they started changing, we're already too close, so we should have continued through, as it was unsafe to stop like this. We can go by the way. Traffic lights were going to turn right into Tesco's. All right, Jim, now what I want you to do now is if you can reverse into a space of your choice, make sure you finish within the white lines of the bay. Use any of these parking spaces here, just make sure you finish within the bay. You can go up a bit further, it's a bit quieter up there. Yeah, so wherever you like. Yeah. I think these things here, those are not the right ones, I don't think. Oh, these ones? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're marked weirdly, I don't know. Okay, just make sure you reverse into the bay, that's all. You happy to leave it there? Thank you, secure the car. And switch off the engine. All right, that's the end of your test. If you just give me a few minutes. You can take a few seatbelt, by the way, and relax a little bit now. All right, how was that second half then? Um, well, it wasn't as good, but I'd say it's a little bit better than- It was definitely better than what half. happened before, yeah. definitely. Um, the roundabout was good where we went straight on. It was just a bit slow. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Then we had that next roundabout where we turned left, parked up on the left, that was all good. Then when we moved off on that road, we had a parked car in front of us. 
Oh, yeah. And you're kind of umming and ahhing with what yeah. you wanted to do. But you're getting so close to the car in the meantime, yeah. to the point where I had to stop you. Yeah. What should you have done on that one? Probably should have just stopped, like, way further behind. Okay, and when you say way further, what's what's kind of the distance? The cars move, is it? I want you to stop two car lengths away next time. Okay. Just because you've got such an easy position to then go around with. Yeah. Car length, you still have to steer loads to get around it. How much space did you leave? Uh, not a lot. <laughs> A little bit, enough, <laughs> I guess. Nowhere near enough. That traffic light, which changed suddenly. Yeah. Did you need to stop? With how close you were and how I late it gone, changed. I, I could have gone. Nah, yeah, I definitely could have gone. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah. And also, when it started to flash amber, can we go or do we keep waiting for it to go green? Theory question. I'll just go. Yeah. Mm, what good. traffic light was that? If it has a flashing amber beacon, question for you guys. Oh. Which pedestrian crossing has a flashing amber beacon? Mate, One some... second, Jeremy. It wouldn't be fair for us, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's one he of them weird know ones. It, yeah. No, I don't know it. I just it's not fair. I don't even know what it's called. There's some weird it's, name. There is a weird name. Is it like Pelican. Toucan? Yeah, he's got it. Pelican, okay. Pelican has a flashing amber beacon. Is it called that? Oh, okay. Okay. They're all birds. Pelican, puffin, toucan, yeah. pegasus is the only one that's not a bird, but you know. <laughs> well, it is actually, yeah. That, and then... Uh, Bay Park here. You know how to use a reversing camera, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Did you look around? No. Did you check your blind spots? No. So you'd fail simply for not having checked your blind spots at all when you decided to use the camera. You can use the camera, but don't stare at the camera. Okay. Yeah? yeah? I'm glad you went forward because obviously you were over the line initially. When you went forward, you readjusted, you're in the bay, but it's the observation that let you down. Okay. In terms of how your mock test went previously to now, well done. Massive improvement. Thank you. I mean, I'd say, passed. Jeremy, you did well. Thank you very much. I've, I've been waiting for this day. I think, yeah. <laughs> Me too. I think I but you know what it is, you need to address the slowing down issue because there are some roundabouts where you just kind of get there because of what happened earlier, later on you kept getting to roundabouts and just stopping, first get and then moving. Yeah. And there were times we could have just taken it in second, like this roundabout here. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's my, my speed, like my control. Like you, you speed up really nicely. Yeah, and then I just stop. I, I, I don't know. The slowing down part you're yeah, not that. as confident with. Yeah. And it shows you with what happened earlier. Um, but don't go into tunnel vision, you know, like when something happens, don't dwell on it because that kind of led to what happened later on. Yeah. Because I could see it in your face, you were just really annoyed at yourself the whole time thereafter. Just wouldn't get over it. Yeah. It's feeling for himself. <laughs> but yeah. it's okay. Yeah. It, it is difficult to kind of go over that, like try and move past that at the same time. He's done okay. a lot worse. Yeah. It's an improvement from last time, which is what you've got to look at. But keep practicing. Ten hours in the last nine months, that's nowhere near enough. This ain't easy, man. It's actually difficult <laughs> driving. It actually is. Or for someone like me, yeah. Yeah, that's true. What do you mean, someone like you? It is pretty difficult for me. <laughs> <laughs> Juvenile, I'm going to say this, and I've said this before. There's no way there's someone worse than me. What are you... I'm sorry, you've had zero professional lessons. <laughs> Ju Jeremy doesn't count, okay? I mean, you can't be true. hard on yourself because yeah. you've never had an instructor teach yeah. you. If you had someone who knows what they're doing, I'm not saying you don't know what you're doing, but in terms of teaching, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't know how to like kind of word these things or what, what to practice and stuff. That's why you're kind of making the mistakes you're making. Yeah. You're kind of making the mistakes and learning from them. Just to defend yeah. myself, some of the <laughs> mistakes he's done is common sense and yeah. I can't teach that into someone. <laughs> Who stops at the middle of the road in the middle of the roundabout? No, that you know what, that, don't, don't blame that from all common no, sense. Okay. What happened there is no, he just fault. got there too fast, yeah. he didn't know how to control the car and before you know it he was there. Oh, okay, yeah. next one. You said not to park on the curb, drive on the curb, park on the side. He, what does he's, he do? <laughs> he drives on the curb. <laughs> His no, judgement with the I car forgot, was forgot, slightly forgot. off. He, he's I not forgot. used to the size of this car so he went on slightly. All right. Driving the wrong side of the road. How close he didn't see the road sign because he was he was still thinking about that roundabout mistake. How are you supposed to teach someone this? No, man. Open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. Well, we will have driven our back. Hopefully, let, let's say in a month's time, 
Yeah. A month. Okay, two months. Time. Two months. Okay. Two uh, months. Yeah. Okay, two months time. We're gonna get an update on your driving, <laughs> and you're gonna try and do at least ten hours. Yeah. Within those two months. Yeah. If yeah, not two more. Months. Yeah, we'll get more. Because look, try and do two hours once a week. Yeah. And you'll be up to sixteen hours in two months' time. Mm. I, I think we're getting close to that. That. that good drive though. It's just, yeah, he's coming along. It's, it's just. Home. <laughs> <laughs> It's coming along. Compared yeah. to how the first time we met you. No, were... no, yeah. I'd say the first time was really bad. That was. That was. That bad. was really unfair. I didn't know the kind of driving you'd yeah, you've been doing yeah, previously, and I'd say Jeremy just set you up with that one. Sorry. Yeah, we, we set him up with that one. We had, we had a talk. I about it. no, I I remember <laughs> no, clearly. I said, I was like, do you want to do a lesson? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll stuck him in there. Yeah. Okay, well that is it from us today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video and actually learned something or two. If you have, don't forget to give it a little alarm. <laughs> don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're new and check out Jeremy's channel as well. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for That's it on. from us today. Yeah. Bye! Bye. <laughs>